Hi. Oh. Yeah, no, so sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. That's all right. <laughs> all right. Hi, everyone. I'm Sean, and he's Alex. And we're from Body Fit Physiotherapy. Today, we're going to be looking at taping up or carpal tunnel syndrome. So before we get into it, we need to know some contraindications to taping. So these are definite no-nos. Okay. So one thing is taping over a fracture and taping over open wounds. As you can imagine, that can cause some infection further down the line. Some things to look out for when you're taping is people who've got sensitive skin or those who have diabetes. Okay. First things first is that we're going to be taping over Alex and his wrist area here. So the reason for this is that we're going to try and open up the spacing in the carpal area. So what happens with this condition is that this median nerve that runs through the wrist here can get a little bit trapped with some of the ligaments or maybe even with some of the previous wrist conditions. Those who are more at risk are those who have previous wrist injuries or maybe have some inflammation, perhaps rheumatoid arthritis or even osteoarthritis. Those people more at risk are mostly females, those who perform in high repetitive occupations and those that involve a lot of compression around here, so maybe working a lot on the mouse pad as well. So today we're going to try... So particularly that. pregnant women um, uh, are very much at risk, in fact probably more, more than half of the people that we see with carpal tunnel um, uh, pregnant women, um, so yeah. yeah. All right, and we're going to try that very same technique on Alex itself. So I'll get you to take a seat. All right, first things first, we're going to take a piece of K tape and measure it along the majority of the forearm. So, as we can see here, that's most of the forearm. I'm going to make a quick cut around there, making sure it's long enough. <laughs> It has to cover most of the forearm, that's the main thing. So as we can see here, there it is. From there, I'm just going to fold in half and I'm going to make a cut down the center here that's about five centimeters long. Try not to cut your finger off. All right. And then the next bit is that we're going to make a little tear around here. center of this tape will go in the forearm just there. Put it right there and keep one thing on that point there. Then you start to remove the backing tape and let it run along there. Just going to give that a little bit more of a pull there. So one end of this should be on this okay. end of the wrist and the other end should be a little bit on this end of the wrist. Perfect. Yeah. That's good. Then we're going to remove the backing on this end and again let it right up to this part here. This end will come up to this part of the elbow here whereas this end would go on the opposite end, right there. So it should form an X shape like this. Make sure you give it a bit of a rub down to make sure the adhesiveness sticks to the skin. Right, so the reason behind doing this is that we're gonna try and move some of the tendons out of the way so that the nerve can run through fairly easily without any compression. The last bit is that we're gonna tape around here itself. Now, the amount of pressure that you apply to this tape here is about 25%. If we say 100% is the tape fully stretched, you want to be about a quarter of that, just to put it along in this direction here. So the next one will be going around the wrist this way. And for this one, you just need to apply about 50% of the tension of the tape. So twice as much as the as that one, isn't it? Yep. So for this one, you want to apply it to this tail of the X, so just there. Give it a bit of tension, let it pull along, coming around the back of the wrist. And then from there, pulling it across and letting it stick onto that end over there. What this does is that it helps to pull the tape across like that and further opening up this area here. 
And hopefully with that, we can try and reduce the signs and symptoms of carpal tunnel. So essentially it was this last piece of tape, what you're trying to do is spread the tendons apart in this um, canal in your, in your wrist, in this tunnel. And so that the nerve, the median nerve can actually pass through the narrow, uh, sort of narrow t tunnel easily without being compressed or trapped. Okay? Right. Cool. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or a question down in the e comment section in, on Facebook. Or you can give us a call on 09-532-8942. If you have a bit of um, pain in the wrist um, or in the hand, the tingling sensation, which is what the usual symptoms are of carpal tunnel, um, you can come in for a free assessment so we can actually have a look at it. Um, yep, just get in touch. You can put a um, put your name in the comment section below uh, or just yeah, give us a call on that number. All right, all the best. See you later.